The huge outcry in Spain over Football Federation chief Luis Rubiales' forcible kiss of World Cup player Jenny Hermosa has put a spotlight on the dwindling power of male chauvinism in a country that's become a benchmark for feminism. Rubiales is still defending what he called a, quote, little peck, but he has been asked to resign. Here's more from the Spanish sports minister. It's over. No more discrimination for women. No more obstacles for women in sport. It's over. It's over, and unfortunately that happened because of an incident that should not have taken place. We are witnessing a real social and sporting backlash, which will make this a better country. Well, to get a bit more analysis now, let's bring in Maria Martinez Bascunan. You're a professor at the Autonomous University of Madrid, where you specialize in feminist political theory and the study of populism. Thank you for joining us. What do you think? Is there is there going to be a real social and sporting backlash, as we just heard the sports minister say? Yes, I am totally agree with, with the minister. What happened last week was an epochal moment that will have important repercussions. We, we have called this moment as the Spanish uh, Me Too moment, but um, we have our own hashtag, se acabó. Se acabó in Spanish means it, it's over, you know. So those words were used by Alexia Butelas, another FIFA Women's World Cup champions on social media just before all of them announced they will not return to play for the national team in the current leadership remaining in place. So Se Acabo was also used by women speaking up about abuse they have experienced. So yes, I think this unwanted kiss has set enough a momentous national debate about feminism, equality and abuse. Mm. So far, though, Rubiales has still refused to resign, even though he's been ordered to. He says it was just a, a little peck. Are there many people in Spain who still believe him, who still back him? I don't think so. I, I I think this is a this feeling is a is, is a majority feeling in in Spain. Let's be clear. Uh, the unwanted kiss was an abuse of power and a shameful eclipsing of of the women's moment of glory, and that happened by the country's stubborn, if fading culture of machismo. However, we should focus on the immediate condemnation of Mr. Rubiales, even by members of Spain's main conservative party, because uh, that reflects how far the country's feminist movement have come. In the last 20 years, Spain has been a pioneer in gender and equality legislation. In 20 20, in 24, we recognize domestic violence as, as gender-based violence, and in 2022, after a horrific gang rape, the government passed a law las, that classifies any non-consensual sex as rape. So the backlash to the keys by Mr. Rubiales showed that the country has no intention of backsliding. Mm, absolutely. But would you say that situation for women has improved across the country or are there certain regions of Spain where things maybe perhaps aren't as forward thinking? I, I'm so sorry, I don't understand you. Are there all, is Spain improving, as you say, around the country or are there still parts of Spain where perhaps things are not as advanced as they are elsewhere? I think the most important thing is that this magnificent uh, victory of female victory uh, forces us to rethink the distribution of money and power in that world and I think this is the the the, the, the most important lesson uh, of, of that. I think uh, many things has changed in Spain uh, for three reasons. First, it involves a, a group of talent women who had been through professional trials and personal tragedy. So in victory, they were finally powerful enough to speak up and, and be really heard. Second, society had changed. Can we do one I more with her in an end? Society has changed. In Spain, case the change has been accelerated by political leaders, both male and female, and our gender laws are among the most advanced in, in, in the West. And third key element is our feminist movement, the pedagogical work that this move, movement has done.
Is there any fear in Spain that perhaps this new feminism might be going too far, that it might be heading into some kind of a excessive, what some would call wokeism or political correctness, that, for example, some people are starting to criticize in other countries, which are quite advanced in this level, like the United States? Well, uh, you know, we have had Spanish elections that rejected the anti-gender identity politics, politics of, of the far right. And... Um, so, so Spain's establishment is clearly picking a side. Leading politicians on the left and right, the country's top cultural figures, and even an increasing number of voices from within the sexism culture of Spanish football has rallied to support uh, Mrs. Hermoso. So I think, uh, as I said, uh, se acabó. Uh, it's over in Spain, and this is this is going to be very important implications. All right, Mariam, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us. Mariam Martinez Bascunan is speaking to me there. Thank you very much. You're welcome.